Good morning, everybody. How's it going? Happy Sunday morning. It's 7.20 a.m. <laughs> this time, Andrew, he's looking that way, but, you know, not as much as, you know, yesterday or Friday. This is Saturday. Anyway, if, if you watch my other videos and you keep up really, like, very well, <laughs> Ben just looking on the other side of the back alley today. <laughs> is where I was going with that. Anyway, uh, happy Sunday. Uh, a lot of birds this morning. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, one second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, how y'all doing? How's it going? Um, <laughs> got distracted with the uh, pollinator garden over there, butterfly garden. <sighs> anyway, uh, happy Sunday. Okay, got that. Uh, how y'all doing? So, oh, you like my shirt? It's Nirvana. Uh, I saw uh, on Twitter, President on the Six. that uh, <laughs> Joe Rogan is suing MSNBC so he was trending with around less than 40,000 tweets this is what I saw on my Twitter personally known as X <laughs> uh, why is he trending why am I seeing that he's trending you know just a couple questions I had Oh, he's suing MSNBC for uh, altered video. Uh, I'm not too sure. He's suing MS MSC MSNBC for um, altering his videos. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm a bit confused on that. Uh, But, I mean, you can sue anybody for anything, really. That's the impression I'm under. What the exact uh, legal wording is on that, I'm not sure. You might have to ask Elon. I wonder how much he pays his lawyers. Which is uh, publicly known who they are. It's public square information, or what? Huh, Elon? If he didn't buy uh, Twitter, free speech would have been doomed. I think uh, is the narrative on that one. So I don't really know what's wrong with Twitter before. Elon Musk saved it. Which is the narrative, right? But anyway, I saw Joe Rogan was doing MSNBC. Um, I googled it. I didn't see much stuff, but I saw a lot of MSNBC articles and uh, that and Joe Rogan, and they were not favorable. So uh, I didn't know MSNBC did not like Joe Rogan. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently that video that I guess Tulsi Gabbard responded to, clown Tulsi Gabbard responded to. Uh, anyway. Always have to make, you know, something pleasant with something not pleasant. Oof. Anyway. Uh, so, oh, yeah, he was talking about, he was talking about me. So, I uh, saw a Twitter thing that he was, he was suing MSNBC for that. I don't know if it's true or not. But, um. Uh, what? Well, first of all, I guess it's what he's saying when he says altered videos. You can see they're separate clips because he's wearing different shirts. Uh, <laughs> you can see it. So well, he's wearing a shirt, that, and then they change the clip, and he's wearing a different shirt. So uh, I guess just suing for the 
misrepresentation uh, or uh, mistake of confusing Kamala Harris and Clown Tulsi Gabbard. So, uh, one second. Uh, so anyway, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what was trending on uh, my Twitter this morning. So that's the status update, system update. Is that a Glenn, Glenn Greenwald show? Status update. Joe Rogan may or may not be suing MSNBC for a clip they posted on Twitter, presently known as X. I'm not sure if they shared it on their cable news show. The best of my understanding, it was um, a tweet, a video media tweet. So, anyway, good morning, everybody. What else? What else y'all got going on? I got my full cup of coffee. <laughs> my mom and sister Tracy are gonna go to the store. We're gonna have some hot dogs and some chips <laughs> today for the uh, closing Olympic ceremonies. Um, and I think, if just in case you're wondering, I saw that um, uh, the boxing, and of course that's you know. Unfortunate. But um, I think I spoke about all that like when it was with the swimming. Why is a male competing in, in women's sports? And you know, here's my take about all that. Uh, if it's not for like some weird attention. Um, here's a thought, uh, why don't you just compete in the men's? So if you, if you're a man who identifies as a woman, then when you're an Olympic athlete or a professional athlete, is it really that terrible to compete in, uh, the men's category, just compete in the men's category and then tell everybody in a press conference, uh, you're actually transgender and identify as a woman. It's just a thought. I mean, what do y'all think? Is that super offensive? Uh, I'm, I don't think that's uh, overstepping any boundaries there. So, well, why do they have to? It's fine. Okay, whatever. You want to, that's what you identify as and you know, all that stuff. Okay, fine. You're a professional athlete. Uh, why not compete in the men's category? So that's my thoughts on that. Um, anyway. What else I got going on? Uh, something else I also want to say. Um... Uh, <laughs> Even though I've been thinking about it, I'm like, you know, I, I kind of just want to like get back to the chit chat, you know, or, you know, y'all know my situation, but, um, you know, as far as how things go with me, I know Joe Rogan is suing MSNBC, may or may not be suing MSNBC. I would not be the only one, uh, wondering about that on Twitter. Uh, but may or may not be suing MSNBC for a uh, doctored clip uh, that was misleading, confused two Democratic presidential candidates uh, on that one. Uh, but, you know, just one thing I wanted to say real quick was, uh, you know, it's one thing to... Um, and I know there's people who there's I, I get a lot of support too. I just want to say that, but you know, as far as what I see, uh, I just want to say that um, you know it's uh, 
it's one thing to be a public figure and you know you, you say what you want uh, people are public figures and um this public square and all that but it's quite another for like to hide that from me so i can't answer back i can't see it i can't even be a part of anything about that why you know <laughs> Because they messed up, in my opinion. Uh, so <laughs> that's the thing about all this. I see. I know for the most part, uh, I have a lot of support, and I don't really have um, much to worry about, be depressed about, as far as all that goes. You know, right? Yay. Um, but as far as like knowing or going with uh oh well she can see and, and you know it's her you know she can see all this stuff and uh she knows she's a public figure so on and so forth that uh, uh she's she's uh, kidding when she says nobody's ever talked to her about it before 2021 and after Um, so what I'm getting at is I, I just think there are, I've seen a lot of people it's one thing to um, have comments that are unfavorable it's quite another thing to have comments that are unfavorable uh, to say the least and um, me not even know about it I see that all the time. I see it like in real time. <laughs> I, I think you're emboldened because all I have to do is ask for your phone so I can Google myself. <laughs> and then it goes from there uh, as far as, uh, one second. Okay. <laughs> um, so, you know, there's, I've seen it, people out there who, uh, and I think it's predatory behavior. I think what I've been saying in at least 2022 or uh, probably even 2021 with Clown Gabbard where I was like, uh, you know, you don't belong in decent society if that's how things are. If those are the facts, in my opinion. Uh, but... I've just seen it. It's it's uh, taking advantage of the situation, uh, to say the least. So I just wanted to, to comment that. It's one thing if you want to have your thoughts about me that are unfavorable. And doctor altered, uh, I don't know, maybe. Uh, and um, just as much as part of the public square as Joe Rogan, right? But it's quite another thing uh, if that's not the case. So, uh, I just wanted to add that. I don't know, I, I've been thinking about it, I guess I just added in there. I didn't word it how I wanted to word it, but here we are. Anyway. I got some cool books from Half Price Books yesterday. I said, you know, with my $10 I got left, I'm gonna go to Half Price and uh, see if I can find a book. Uh, I have my two books I got that I haven't finished reading. Beloved Beasts and um, like Lost Treasures of the Amazon. One second. They're just as good one. Uh, the air conditioner feels good in there. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, the two books I got, you know, I'm like, you know, these are a bit kind of like historical, biographical, so, uh, I said, you know, I kind of want to get uh, some science books, and, uh, 
So I told my mom, I said, you know, hey, what are you going to have for us? She says, hey, you want the card? Just in case you find something that's more than $10. I said, yeah, sure. So I found these three books that are really cool. Um, and I can't wait to read them. I got one uh, Native American, uh, one um, Biology, uh, which is very interesting, uh, from the 70s, written in the 70s, and another one of um, psychology, uh, also I think written in the 70s, which uh, I think that's interesting because, um, you know, now I think about it, the biology and the Native American might have been written in the 70s, I'm not sure. I think I got a 70s uh, theme going on yesterday. But I really liked all the books that I selected um, at half price. Um, so I'm really uh, excited to read them. And uh, I guess I just wanted to tell you all about it. Uh, the psychology one is um, involuntary. Um, what is it called? It's like involuntary being put in a... Psych, psych, psychiatric ward involuntarily in the 70s so anyway I think um, I mentioned that because um, I think that was kind of like uh, what do you call it and a time when um, psychology was kind of like uh, in the boom phase and not the bust phase so to speak uh, but anyway, good morning, everybody. I got those three books. I got uh, so pretty much science. Uh, so uh, I'm excited to read uh, the science and history of the uh, books I got at half price yesterday. Um, I think they were, it was like $15 or $18 for those three books. Uh, anyway, uh, excited to read them. Uh, I put what books they were in my Instagram. In case you're wondering, you can just scroll on my Instagram. I got the title and the author. Um, anyway, uh, happy Sunday. I hope you'll have a good one. I plan on making a uh, tarot card uh, video at some point in time today. Uh, that's my chit chat for the day. I'm going to go into the air condition <laughs> and see if the rest of my family's out. Anyway, y'all have a good one. I'll talk to y'all later.